So in this question, we've been given the dimensions of a cone and a hemisphere. The dimension of the cone having a height h and a radius x, and the hemisphere also having a radius of x. And we're told that the surface area of the cone, important term, the surface area of the cone is equal to the surface area of the hemisphere. So first of all, we've got to work out um, formulas for the surface area of both our solids and calculate them in terms of h and x. So we'll start with the cone. We know that the curved surface area of the cone, the formula is at the um, front of the book, is pi r l. But for the full surface area of the cone, you're going to have to add the base, which is a circle. We now the circle formula is pi r squared, but we've got pi x squared. Now we have to deal with the L, if you get the L in terms of H and X, and you can see L is the slant height, so by Pythagoras rule, L is going to equal the square root of H squared plus X squared. So I'll write that in here, and I'll also replace X, R rather, with X for the radius. I can use the, I'll just get rid of that, we can use the square root as a bracket itself, so X times the square root of H squared plus x squared. And then of course we've got the plus pi x squared for the base itself. So that is our surface area of our cone. So we'll write that there. Now for the hemisphere, the uh, surface area of, the, uh, of a sphere would be 4 pi r squared. So the surface area of the sphere And the surface area of the sphere then will be 2 pi r squared, that's for the curved part, plus again the circle bit at the bottom which is plus pi times x squared. So they both actually have the same base. So we'll now take that on to um, and set those equal to each other. Of course the surface area of the hemisphere will be 2 pi x squared. Now when we set the two things equal to each other, notice that you've got both of them contain a plus pi x squared, so we can actually ignore that. So if we take the cone then, we've got pi x times the square root of h plus x squared will equal 2 times pi x squared. So we can cancel the um, pi's, and we can cancel the x into the x there. So we have the square root of h plus let's get rid of that. Uh, h squared h squared plus x squared equals 2x. Now if I square both sides I will have h squared plus x squared equals 4x squared. Then I'll have h squared equals 4x squared minus 3x squared. Um, so I can write that as 3x squared. If I square root both sides, I will then have h equals the square root of 3 times the square root of x squared, which will be x times the square root of 3. And that is our solution. h in terms of x is x times root 3.